Hello, my name is Jose Gomez, DevOps Solution Architect at Nutanix, and today we will see Zero Touch CICD, BDI template creation with Nutanix Khan DSL. Let's get started. This is Prism Central, where you manage your Nutanix platform and your applications. We have few applications running, as well several blueprints to build Windows 10 images. All these blueprints have been created using Nutanix Khan DSL. For continuous integrations, continuous delivery, we use Jenkins. This Jenkins instance has several jobs. Let's focus on the Khan DSL job. That is the job that we use to build the Windows 10 images. There is a specific branch for the Windows 10 build. As you can see, this is the pipeline that we are running. I'm opening now my project in Visual Studio Code. My developer environment is running containerized on Nutanix Carbon, an enterprise-grade Kubernetes platform. Once the remote environment is open, I can see all my blueprints. I'll focus on the VDI Windows 10 folder. This is my blueprint on CAM DSL, where using infrastructure as code, I can define my entire blueprint. In this case, the Windows 10 build. In this section of the blueprint is where we declare the specification for our virtual machine. This is the image, the ISO for the zero touch we are building from scratch. For triggering the pipeline in Jenkins, I'm changing the virtual CPU value from one to two virtual CPUs. Let's push the new change to GitHub. The change has been pushed successfully to GitHub. Jenkins has detected a new change in the code and automatically has started the pipeline. This Jenkins instance is running as a containerized application on Nutanix Carbon. Automatically, new slaves will be created on fly to build the new code. At this stage of the pipeline, a new Jenkins slave with Khan DSL is provisioned to build the blueprint. Khan DSL is connected to Prism Central to create the Windows 10 template and launch an application later. In the meantime, let's build a new VDI template this time changing the memory to 8 gigabytes. The first Jenkins pipeline is close to finish. The blueprint has been created. As you can see, the values for virtual CPUs are 2 and 2. The pipeline has finished. And then there is a new application that it's been provisioned. Let's check the application. I'm capturing the VM name to check on the console that the Windows 10 build has started.
the second pipeline with the new memory change is running too. A new blueprint has been created with a new memory value. In our first build, Windows 10 has started the installation. The installation of Windows 10 for the second build is close to start. On the left, we have the first build, on the right, the second. The installation of Windows 10 takes about 15 minutes. Calm is waiting for the installation of Windows 10 to finish. Once finished, Calm will be able to connect to the virtual machine. The first Windows 10 build has finished and Calm can connect now to the virtual machine. Our new Windows 10 build has been deployed successfully. With Nutanix Calm, you have end-to-end -end visibility of your application, from day one provisioning to day two operations. The second build is almost close to finish as well. To automate the installation of Windows, we have used Sysprep AutonAttend. If you want to know more about Nutanix Calm, visit our website Nutanix.com.